November 22nd. November 22nd. Uh, today is November 22nd. I'm Mike from Houndstown, USA, home to the happiest dogs on earth. We just have our new Thanksgiving guest coming for dinner, Curtis from the town of Brookhaven Animal Shelter. Curtis is how old about? Three. Three years old. Uh, you know, fully healthy, mature, three-year-old dog who has a lot of, a uh, lot of, uh, what has he got a lot of enthusiasm. <laughs> Uh, he's supposedly affectionate, we're going to find that out, may have a little separation anxiety, but you can certainly see he's confident and has a mind of his own. So those are the good things and the bad things. The question is always, can we get, in a reasonable amount of time, 10 to 12 days, Curtis balanced out so his energy's not uh, has separation anxiety, he's, he has a neutral balanced energy we have to if we can't we need to do that just teach them basic things don't pull on the leash don't jump uh, he's showing no signs of, of, of any kind of aggression but we'll monitor that because this is going to be a completely different environment where there's a lot more actually structure it's going to be a lot of training a lot of exercise uh, so and then we're just going to monitor day by day and keep up with old Curtis here and see that he uh, how well he does somewhat of a rehabilitation for lack of a better word actually he just needs boundaries he's a big powerful dog he shows no signs of aggression however his arousal level like many dogs goes from 0 to 60 very quickly so if you don't have an understanding of the dog firm hand you have to be firm with the dog not abusive firm hand kind heart he's a big powerful muscular dog he's taught not to pull on this leash I walk with him heel to stay relaxed regardless of the environment. There's dogs barking, there's people you can pan over, see our wonderful... Uh, he, if, people, if somebody knocks on the door, if you, he's not taught, that's it. We're going to take him out on the field and show. So he's, rel he's good with other animals if you introduce him properly. Heel. All right, so, so this is all about balance and Curtis's energy. In a shelter environment, his, he was spiked up like this. We always want him balanced out. That's this is balanced out. This means he's in an environment. Go knock on the door, please, John. Yeah, yeah, you can knock. So people are knocking at the door. There's people here. There's food. Let me have a dog biscuit somewhere or something. Oh, 
can be one. So there's a lot happening. He's laying there. He's not nailed to the breath. He knows. But this is not easy for the average pet owner. He's not a 20-pound dog. He's not a 20-pound dog. He's probably 80 pounds of solid muscle, and he gets stimulated very easily. He got one, which is fine. But he's not getting up. Leash and collar is on. We're te uh, uh, get back. Down. Down. But this is done with a kind, loving heart. But he needs boundaries. He can't be on the couch. He can't be on the bed. He needs to sleep in a crate at night. He can't be, you can't have pigeons, birds, werewolves. This is it. You need balance. Okay, we're going to go out on the field and show off the other things that he does. A dog can't jump. An 80-pound dog, he can get excited, but he can't jump. We have company over. He's a looney tune. You have to understand what to do with his energy. And this isn't because he was locked up. We're going to go out on the field and show this is a wonderful dog. There's no aggression here. But if grandma comes over and he jumps on her and knocks her through the screen door, then he's back to the shelter. <laughs> oh look, he's in there, he wants to learn computer skills. <laughs> Alright, let's go outside. Good boy, Curtis. Good boy, Curtis. Good boy, Curtis. Good boy. So he can spend all his energy. I could live in a one-room apartment and exercise this dog. Good boy, yeah, yeah. Good boy. Yeah, yeah. Notice he's not touching. So this dog has only been with us for a couple of weeks. He was out of balance. Uh, he needs to be managed not by anybody, by somebody who knows. This is whether you're a volunteer, a dog trainer, whatever you are, you have to understand this dog's energy. So we understand the dog here. We have a yard. We have we have a life. So we manage the dog. When I don't want, when I want him to play, it's simple. Okay, good dog. Good. Now he's gonna run around like crazy. And he's hunting for his dog food. And then when Ashley wants him, she'll call him, she'll Curtis. just get low. Curtis! Curtis! Good boy! Then step on the leash. So you can see that he gets out of balance. And if you don't know how to handle him, you're going to get in trouble. He can jump, hurt, he can hurt you. Now she's going to ask him to heal and walk him around. Once she gives him a job to do, which is healing, he has to be on her left side. Her hands are relaxed. This dog is not for everybody, but for the right person who has a backyard fenced in, and you can let this dog run 20 minutes or a half an hour, then come to a stop, ask him to sit, ask him to place. Curtis, go place. Drop Good boy, it. go place. Go place. Good boy. Good boy. Good, fetch it. Good.